Um, one of the biggest questions that I get from students is how do I do it? How do I balance uh, success in my academics and, and my personal life and as well as abstaining from sex? And I tell them you have to start now. Focus. Think about what you want to do for the rest of your life. What, what positive people are influencing you right now. And give 100% to that. Whether it's horseback riding or starting your own business or your, your family, whatever it is that you have a passion for, give 100% to that. And I promise you, it will take your mind off of any kind of negative distractions that may come your way. Just speaking from my own personal experiences, when it comes to starting a relationship with someone or dating, I think it's very important that you figure out those person's morals. What do they care about? What are, what are they into? What are their interests? And that way you can kind of weed him out. Uh, this, he, all he cares about is having sex, really. All he cares about is playing his video games, really. All he cares about is being on Twitter and Facebook. Like he's not investing himself in anything, like I said before, that will last. Uh, whether it's his sports, his uh, business, his family, his friends, his faith. And you can kind of see where that's going. And honestly, I think it's important to let them know up front, listen, this is what I'm not into. This is what I need from you. This is what I don't need. I don't need pressure. I need someone to help me grow as a person because if that person isn't helping you grow, then you really don't need them in your life. And you'd be surprised, a lot of, a lot of guys like that. They like someone who has goals and has ambition and stands for whatever they believe in. They, they want to be a part of that positive energy. And so it's nothing but beneficial. And if they don't like it, you probably don't need them anyway. And that way, you save your time, he saves his time, and you can move on to the person that's really right for you.